now we have equation number 2 uh, which is x1 plus 2x2 is equals to 11 as uh, the previous equation didn't had uh, the value didn't have the value of x1 and x2 so here also we don't have the value of x1 and x2 and we are assuming that x1 is 0 so what is the value of x2 so x1 is 0 to x2 is equals to 11 x2 is equals to 2 has gone to the denominator's place 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 so when we put x1 0 we got x2 11 now it's turned that x2 is going to be 0 so we are going to put the value of x2 is equals to 0 so then we are going to get the value of x1 is equals to 11 and similarly we have solved the equation number 3 as well and we have gathered the value of uh, of the coordinates x, x1 x2 0 comma 5 15 comma 0 so we are available with the, the with the values or the with the coordinates and now our next step is to just go and make a graph uh, which will meet all the points that we have uh, taken out of the equation the equation of so i have made a table over here to understand it uh, and you know and, and to create the graph easily so here equation number one we have two coordinates uh, of, from each of the equation 0 comma 16 8 comma 0 equation number two has 0 comma 5.5 11 comma 0 3 uh, equation has the coordinate 0 comma 3 and 15 comma 0 so now what we have to do is to you know make a graph and we will plot the the lines and and the, the coordinates on it so the first uh, here if you look equation number one we have 0 comma 16 so we simply mean that x1 is 0 so 0 is here but x2 for the equation number one is 16 right so 16 will be there so x uh, x1 is representing horizontal and x2 is representing vertical right so 16 we have to mark 16 here this is 16 right and for the second uh, coordinate from the equation number 1, we have 8, 8 uh, of x2 here and uh, x1 here and 0 from the x2. So we have got two points, if you see two points and now we have to create a line which will be crossing from these two lines. Okay, so here is line 1, right? And we can label it as a line 1, L1 or equation 1, which will be easy for, for further identification of the points. Then uh, we come to equation number 2. We have point 0 and 5.5. 5.5 is x2. So we are going to denote it somewhere here. 5.5 between 6 and 5 and 6 and then on the other hand it is 11 and 0 so 11 is from x1 so here is 11 right and 0 again so now we have to make a line again so a line will be running from this uh, place from 5 to 11 so You can adjust it anytime you feel like it is not on exact points. So this is a line number 2. So we can label it as a L2 or equation 2. Now we have equation number 3 in which we have 0 as at the place of x1. We have x2 is equals to 3. So x2 is equals to 3. We will mark here at 3. Then we have 15 comma 0. 15 is this time from x1 and here this is a 15 so we have to make a line another line and we will make it and we will adjust it a little bit so that we can see it much clearer, clearly and this is line 3 right 
so by doing this you will be able to see a closed region so where is a closed region let me highlight that closed region so this region that now I'm going to highlight this one is the is a closed region So we are going to just give it a little bit of highlight so that we know that this is this is the area which we have selected and this means that a problem lies in this region. It doesn't lie anywhere outside but the problem solution is within this region. So now according to the same technique that we used uh, in our previous example, we have to create some corner points. So how we will create the corner points? Wherever you are seeing corners, you will level them as a corner. So here, if I show you that here we have this corner, this is the second corner, where wherever the lines are intersecting and making the corners. This is the third corner. Where the lines are intersecting, this is the fourth corner. So simply, I am going to label these corners as I am going to label this corner as A, corner A, B, corner C, corner D. So we have uh, four corner points. So if you look at A, so A corner point has the coordinates simply zero. And uh, B, if you look at the coordinate of the B, it has uh, 8, 0, this is 0, 0, x1 and x2. Then um, if you look at uh, the value of C, so we can, you know, locate C here. If I, if I just simply draw a line from C, a straight line from, you know, moving from C, then it is approximately at 2. So when you will make it on a graph paper, then it will be more authentic and accurate. So we will consider it as a um, as 2. And the value of C on, you know, x-axis, it is also approximately on 7. But because I have made it manually, so it is uh, not coming on 7. But when you will solve it on a graph paper, it will come 7. Right, so following are the values that we have obtained from solving the graph and and our feasible solution is lying in between this region. Now what we have to do is to we have uh, take all these points and we have to put into the objective function and we have to find out that uh, which gives the maximum profit. So this is equation 1, 2, 3, objective 1, 2, 3 and we will do this way, corner point A, B and C. So here you can see that corner point A, B, C and D one more. So we are starting with the A which is 0 comma 0. So if we put 0 and 0 it gives us 0 profit. The second corner point B this is corner point uh, 8 comma 0 so we have to put 8 and 0 and this will become 30 by 8 and 50 by 0 so so this will become simply 240 plus 0 is equals to simply 240 for equation 3 or objective function 3 we have the corner point c 7 comma 2 and we are going to put this here 7 and so we will uh, get 210 plus 100 is equals to 310 and similarly I have uh, put the corner point uh, D into the objective function uh, 4 which is 30 by 0 and 50 by 5 and then we get 250 so among all of you know the points that we have put and the answers that we have got among all the maximum profit uh, that we can make is uh, with the with the corner point C, which simply means which simply suggests that we suggest the co company, the firm, or teller that prepare 
और मैक सेवन ड्रेसेस एंड टू सूट टू मैक थ्री हंड्रेड टेन डॉलर और रुपीज वट एवर पर पर डे राइट दिस इज अर फाइनल सजेशन टू द to the tailor based on our calculations so i hope this was helpful to you and uh, in last every time you have to prepare some suggestions because this is the part which will help uh, the company or the, or the person to make a decision based on your calculations so among all which whichever was the highest we choose it and we suggest on behalf of that thank you allah hafiz